Good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. It's Thursday, September 3rd, 2020. My name's Jennifer Cotton. I am a Stampin' Up! demonstrator in Midlothian, Texas. And what that means is I teach people how to make greeting cards, scrapbook pages, home decor items, and much more with stamps, ink, paper, all kinds of crafting products. Hey, pet. Good morning. As y'all come on, say hi, and that will get you entered to win the cards I make today. Hey, Susan. Good morning. Um, today, I'm going to be making three cards using the Press On Stamp Set from Stampin' Up! Really cute set, which is in our holiday catalog. Hey, everybody. Hey, Terry. Hey, Diana in North Carolina. Hey, Hannah. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so, those are the three. Or I'll be making three cards with that. Hey, Karen. And you can win them by commenting or sharing the video. Um, so, you can just say hi or whatever. Like, oh, what did Susan say? She received her Christmas gleaming kit. Yay. Beautiful. Thank you. Good morning, Charlotte. Hey, Joni. Joyce, good morning. Carol, good morning. Thanks for sharing, Susan. Hey, Terry. <laughs> misspelling, I understand. With phones, I misspell everything now. It's embarrassing. <laughs> hey, Sherry, good morning. Thanks for sharing, Pat. Good morning, Joyce and Carol. Okay, so um, I'm a Stampin' Up! demonstrator. If you're new to this to me to seeing my videos um, everything I'm using you can purchase from me I have an online store hey Pam hey Linda thanks for sharing Carol hey Sherry um, anyway so you can get all this stuff from me and I always have an online ordering special each month I have other ways to order as well there's classes that are free with an order or you know there's many other ways but if you just want to go online and order I have a free class every month, and what you do is you, you, when you go to my store, you place an order, you use this month's host code, a bunch of letters and numbers, which you'll see when I point the camera down. Uh, they also have been emailed out, and they're on my blog. Um, but anyway, this month, it's going to use the Snowflake Wishes bundle, which is this stamp set. Super cute, so definitely Christmassy and wintry cards. Of course, I'll use the designer paper that goes with it and all that. We'll also use the matching dies, and we'll pre-die cut anything we can for you. They're called So Many Snowflakes, and there is another die in this packet. So, that's going to be awesome. And then, of course, I'm sure I'll use the embossing folder that goes with it. And we pre-die cut and emboss everything we can. So, all you have to do is take your packet and use my PDF instructions I email you and stamp and assemble. So you'll mainly need your stamp set or substitute some old snowflakes you have if that's the case. Um, hey everybody, good morning Linda. Good morning Pam in North Carolina. Hey Linda, Hey, uh, thanks for sharing Carol. I always get mixed up who I've said hi to already so if I repeat, that's just a bonus. <laughs> um, Susan says, love the bundle. I agree that Snowflake Wishes is an awesome bundle. Thanks for sharing, Stacy. And definitely comment like Stacy did if you share, because you'll get entered a second time, but only for if you comment, because Facebook doesn't tell me most people who share. It's like private for you. Hey, Melanie, good morning. Um, anyway, what you're doing that to get entered to win the three cards from today, but also that helps me. So I appreciate it very much. Um, helps my business. I do this full time, full time job. Uh, basically, I've been doing it full time for almost 19 years. I mean, I started out expecting to maybe make a couple of bucks, um, and then it turned into a full time job pretty quickly. Hey, Kathy. Oh, that's okay. Hi. <laughs> See you later. Um, Okay, so I don't, I think I finished. If you place an online order of $25 or more with the host code, you get the free class packet. If that order is 50 or more, you also get um, a free full accessory 
like probably some snowflake sequins maybe or a roll of ribbon or something like that and if it's 150 or more you get both of those but don't use the host code and then stampin up will give you at least 15 dollars in free merchandise in the process of placing that order um, so that's how you can get that free class packet every single month there's a new theme and how it works you place your order throughout the month with the code and then when the month is over i calculate how many we need <laughs> That's funny, Linda. There are a lot. Linda's a common name. I always thought Jennifer was the most common name ever because when I was in school, there were always like five other Jennifers in every class I had. But um, Linda is a very common name. So is Karen. I have a lot of customers with, you know, same names. But anyway. Um, okay, so at the end of the month, we see how many we need to cut. Landa cuts it for me. I prep the instructions and then we get it mailed out about a week after the month ends. Actually, she's working on the ones for last month right now. Um, okay, so upcoming events. I have my monthly classes, which these are classes I do every single month, no matter what. Um, they happen every single month. It's card class, scrapbook class, uh, I'm blanking out stamp a stack and sampler so every month all four of those are offered live or to go or a hybrid of that where you sign up for it and then you come pick up from my porch a tub of supplies with everything in it <laughs> just one Hana yes um, I used to think Nina was a um, not a a common name but now I have a couple of customers named Nina so anyway it's funny with names um, hey Rhonda oh thank you so much that was awesome thanks for sharing good morning Shirley who else did I miss thanks for sharing Melanie and Sherry hey Rhonda and all um, okay so what was I saying about my classes? They're offered every single month. Oh, the hybrid version. You you will receive the class packet. Of course, it's always unstamped per Stampin' Up! policy. And then, but you can get the tub that has the stamps, the ink, the punches, whatever tools you need, and you can stamp it at home and return that tub the next day. So, um, there's four classes to pick from. Locals, you can attend live or check out the tub. Or to go, you can... Some people just pick it up from me and don't use any of my stuff. They just pick up the packet and stamp at home with their own supplies. Hey, Jewel, thanks for sharing. Hey, Deborah in Tennessee. Um, but if you need it mailed to you, it's $7.75 for shipping for one or all. So one, two, three, or four classes you can pay for shipping. Um, we cut, die cut emboss, punch, everything we possibly can for you so that all you have to do is stamp and assemble. Um, we only use one stamp set per class. The fee is going to include a written tutorial with measurements and all that stuff so you can follow along. Hey Darla, good morning. Good morning Cindy. I'll see you tonight at bingo. Um, and you can add on the stamp sets or bundles if when you register. If you choose, that's completely optional. But they will be discounted. You can buy only all four tutorials. Hey, Dorothy, but my team gets those for free. Um, okay, so that's about all four classes. There is card class. These are the cards from last month. So we'll, this month, we're making all occasion cards. These were kind of all occasion, too. Um, this month, they're all occasion with the, I have to turn the page, um, banner year bundle which includes this punch, the banner, I forget the official name, but it's a banner punch that you can do three different widths of paper and two different banners. Um, but here's the stamp set, super cute. So we'll do Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, and then one other card, which I haven't decided yet. So that's the stamp set for card class, which is $15 or free with a $20 order. Bingo is online only right now, Terry. So online only. I'll see you tonight as well. <laughs> um, so card class, that's an example of card class, but these were the ones from last month, which we did um, 
with that stamp set. And then scrapbook class, $15, free with a $20 order. You make three 12 by 12 pages. I love the ones we made last month. We made back to school, COVID style. So we have houses, because most people are in <laughs> school at home. Um, mask, this is your torn up paper, because it's all on the computer. <laughs> And of course, if it's um, if you don't have kids in school, you just take off that part, and it's a completely legitimate page for these times. <laughs> and then there's uh, whoops, where's page two? Not in order. There's page two. So we're all doing Zoom. That's an iPad. <laughs> so that so we made those two last month, and then we made this one last month, which is page one of our next page, which we'll make this month. Thank you, Susan. Um, so this month for scrapbook, you'll make this page, which actually has no stamping. So it will die cut everything for you. You're just gonna glue it together. Land has already started die cutting these houses for you from the designer paper. And then you're gonna make a two page layout with Hallow's Night Magic. So a Halloween layout. So three pages total always, but two will be Halloween. You'll need this stamp set. And then uh, one is that one. Um, 15 free with a $20 order. The next two classes, the Sampler and Stamp-A-Stack, are uh, not free with an order because the fee includes product. So you're already getting an order when you play buy these classes. And... Um, so I was trying to read Linda's comment there. I'll read that in a second. Um, and everything's cut, die cut, etc., except for the designer paper. You cut that yourself, which we, of course, there's instructions. And they both include $20 in product. So there's the sampler class. Frame is not included. I have info on where I get my frame in the class description. Um, but this is the one from last month. I'm trying to get all my lights off of there. So I have to hold it at a weird angle. If I hold it straight up, you get lights. But um, I thought it was really cute. We had like an actual awning there on the chocolate window. And anyway, um, <laughs> thank you, Linda. Um, so sampler this month is gonna be Halloween, Hallow's Night Magic. You're gonna get uh, $20 in merchandise, including this is subject to change if something goes on back order, then I substitute things. But half a pack of the Halloween designer paper, half a pack of the black glitter paper, half a pack of the iridescent pearls, and a full roll of the metallic mesh ribbon. Um, and then all the stuff cut ready to make your sampler. You can also see another previous sampler from another class over there. And then the stamp -a stack you make 12 cards. Um, these are the ones from last month. So not this month, but last month. Um, 12 cards, four designs, three of each. <clears throat> $30 includes $20 in merchandise. This month we're using the Poinsettia Petals Bundle, which I've shown a bunch. We're using it at Bingo tonight, and it's going to make awesome Christmas cards. There, By the way, stamp -a stack is all Christmas until um, November. So we're now in September. October and November. Three more months of Christmas stamp -a stack so that you can get lots of supply built up. That was upside down. Um, so I'll just show you the ones from last month, which I personally think were awesome. And then um, this month we'll be doing poinsettia petals, which there's so many cool accessories and um, designer papers to use with that one. So it's going to be awesome. I'm planning to include with your $20 in merchandise, half a pack of the designer paper, half a pack of the plush designer paper, the beaded pearls, and sheer ribbon, which is real red. So, there you go. <laughs> Barbara, are you calling me uncle? <laughs> I was wondering why that said T.O., but I thought maybe, I don't know. And plus, well, anyway, there's a restaurant here called T.O. Tony's that Scott and Isabel love. So, maybe you're talking about T.O. Tony's. Um, thank you, Linda, on the scrapbook pages. Now, let me see what this. Linda said, speaking of the name Linda, I had three to five girls went through school and only one spelled it with a Y. 
<laughs> yes, and I do have Linda's with a Y, and I always have to remember oh, which, which way is her name spelled. Um, thank you, guys. Thank you. Hey, Stella. No problem being late. Thank you, Pat. Hey, Stacy. Good morning. Linda, thank you. And Linda Carver, thank you. Yes, there are lots of Lindas on here. Um, okay, so next, holiday catalog kickoff. So I have a sneak peek. Tomorrow is the last day to sign up for this amazing class. We're going to make some really cute stuff. Um, we're going to make a treat thing with the, with the mini coffee cups. We're going to also make seven cards. So that's eight projects total. Um, of course, I can't show them all to you because then you can just make them yourself. <laughs> but <laughs> I'm going to give you the sneak peek little version here. All Christmas except for two fall cards. Um, they're a lot of fun. You're going to get product with your fee. <laughs> oh, that's awesome, Carol. Her daughter's name is Jennifer. I didn't used to like it, but it's fine now. And it was just because everybody had that name. For if you, I was born in 1972. So there you go. Um, holiday catalog kickoff. It's live or to go. Sign up by tomorrow. The date is September 12th, 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. live. Um, you can purchase tutorials only when you with my registration link. Um, we'll be taking COVID steps for the live event, so it will be safe. Your fee includes an assortment of accessories with your fee that you get to keep the leftovers of. Um, you, if you're live, you bring your own snacks or lunch. Um, there's stamping demonstrations. There's at least eight projects with all new product, a door prize entry, and an optional card swap. We're using five stamp sets, warm hugs, um, wrapped in Christmas. Those are with your coffee cups. Then peace and joy. I think this is my favorite new set with the, of course, you saw the dies, which we'll pre-die cut for you. Cherish the season with the bells and then beautiful autumn. And we use lots of designer paper and accessories and ribbons and stuff. <laughs> See, Pat? See? That was a popular name in the 70s to name your child. And then, I guess we were 80s kids, though, really, with that name. Um, so, live or to go, we're going to punch, die cut, emboss, everything possible so that with COVID, so it goes quickly for you and for at home, so you can make it quickly. The fee is $49. Again, it includes product, um, the project's cut and ready to go, etc. And you can get it live or to go. So you can get my, sh my links to any of these events I'm telling you about directly from me, or um, if you sign up for my email newsletter, you get them there as well. The October Retreat in a Box. That one you still have lots of time to sign up for, but we'll be using these two stamp sets for the Retreat in a Box, Celebration Tidings, and Festive Post. And then, of course, the dies that go with this, oops, with this one, Celebration Labels, which I'm using today in my projects. Um, so the theme of the Make and Takes will be Fall, Christmas, and Halloween. Awesome. Thank you, Susan. Um, and we usually do at least 10 make and takes. They include, um, a sampler, 12 by 12 scrapbook pages and cards, and then sometimes boxes and bags and stuff. Um, the fee is $75. It includes $50 in merchandise. All those make and takes cut, punched, embossed, etc. You just cut your designer paper and PDF tutorial. This is a no frills retreat in a box, so it's only $75 instead of our normal price, and there's no gifts or bags or anything. So it's just like a class, basically. Um, and then with that or within that, there's two optional classes you can take. So if you're taking this to go, you can, uh, uh, shipping is included in the retreat in a box. So if you add on one or both classes, you pay no extra shipping. However, you might only like one or both of the classes versus the retreat in a box, and you can 
take only those. But when you register, you'll just add on shipping. So I have the Heartwarming Hugs Gifty class, which is, of course, the... I will be using this stuff, the warm hug stuff. And we'll be doing gift card holders, cards, um, gift tags, and a mini coffee carrier, another one, with the cups. And that's going to include, so these classes are kind of like mega classes. They're $45 each. They That one you're going to make 10 projects, and it's going to include $35 in merchandise, like designer paper, ribbons, Ornum, um, well, I have the Glitter Star ornaments here, but if they're on back order, some other embellishment and so on. Um, and then April, we'll, we'll be doing a Snowflake Splendor class. So that Snowflake Splendor is the sweet name, but she'll be using the designer paper, the stamp set, the dies, the embossing folder. And then you're going to get designer paper, glimmer paper, gems, ribbon, and so on with your fee. Again, subject to change if there's a back order. Okay, so that's that one. Now, let's talk about Stampin' Up! Specials. Um, we have an amazing special going on right now for you to join my team. <laughs> but it's a Stampin' Up! Special, but you can join my team. It's always a great deal. Only $99 for $125 in any merchandise you want. Anything we sell, you can get it with the starter kit. Um... And that now, of course, includes the stamp and cut and emboss machine, which is 120. So out of your 125, you could get this. And then as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you're gonna get so many other perks. Getting to see catalogs early, order from catalogs early, discount on everything you order, all customer promotions or offerings apply to us as well. So we get to take advantage of host benefits, um, celebration, any kind of sale. For example, we had an amazing clearance rack update this week, which you can still go check that out in my online store and see what's on up to 60% off. We get our discount on top of that. So we get like crazy discounts from Stampin' Up. And then, um, of course, you get to be part of the team, which is probably 95% people who just like to get the discount. But there are uh, also people in my team who like to make extra money and make extra income on the side with their Stampin' Up! business and some that do it full time, like me. So we accept all forms and you don't have to remain active or even do anything when you buy the starter kit. So what is the special? You're gonna get $60 in additional merchandise free when you buy the kit this month. And there's no obligation when you buy the kit ever, this month, next month, next year. Um, you don't have to remain a demonstrator or take advantage of your discount or any of that stuff if you don't want to, So, but you can. So here's what you're gonna get free. So much love. This is a really pretty stamp set, and no, I haven't used mine yet, but I'm going to, like most of my stamps I own. <laughs> and then Queen Anne's Lace, which to me the name is deceptive because it makes it, in my opinion, it makes it sound like obviously a lacy and maybe old-fashioned looking stamp set. But there's not even lace in here. That must be the name of this flower that I don't even know that's the name of the flower, but in my mind, that's a different... Um, thing that it would mean but it's a two-step flower so you can stamp the the detail image and then put the solid on top of it in a different color and then just lots of greetings so it's a great set we've got i know you have the strength to get through this hello friend celebrating all the wonderful things about you best wishes thanks and i'll be right by your side so it's a great stamp set so both of those are free a free pack of full, not used like mine, Stampin' Dimensionals. Thank you, Pat. I put two and two together when I was saying that. <laughs> That's the name of the flower. <laughs> As y'all always know, I don't know flowers or leaves names. So, yeah, so that's a flower. It's not um, like an old lacy doily or something. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. <sighs> At least I sort of figured it out on my own. And I would have Googled it later if y'all didn't tell me. <laughs> Um, that's hilarious. Then, in addition to that, you're going to get two packets to make 
eight cards each. So 16 cards. It's the card base, you know, the other layers, just like, I mean, when I show you how I'm going to make the card today, um, all the pieces, you would get that, but for eight cards and eight cards using <laughs> Deborah. Some people call it a weed. Love it. I probably have seen that then because that's all my yard is. <laughs> Sweet. Um, anyway, um, so you can use those cards to do your first class. Love it, Pat. Um, or for your own personal use. And you can design the cards Stampin' Up! has designed with them. Or you can, you know, do what my customers do and make up your own design with this, the contents. Um, so that's a $60 value free. Also, you, normally you get a past, and here's a little flyer in case y'all want to see it. Normally you get a past paper pumpkin kit with our starter kit. But for this month, you're getting a voucher to, red, to redeem for a current paper pumpkin kit. So that's even better which is a $22 plus shipping value, or plus tax and shipping actually. So um, $125, all that stuff I just showed you, which is $60 value. And the $125, you would call, <laughs> I love y'all's descriptions of this. This is distracting me. Linda says it's a chigger flower, which I assume means it makes you itch because those bugs make me itch. But anyway, um, or maybe it attracts those bugs. I don't know. I've never heard of any of this. I'm going to have to really look it up. Um, what was I saying about... <laughs> I lost it. Um, starter kit. I totally lost what I was saying. Um, hmm, hmm. Okay, it's a great deal. You'll get the card packets. Yeah, I don't know where I was going. I was going somewhere though, right? I'll re-listen and see if I need to say something super important. <laughs> um, but, oh, the value. So, $125, you would pay me tax and shipping on that for sure. So, that's really um, add another $25. That's about $150 cost. Thank you, Linda. Then you get the paper pumpkin, $22 plus tax and shipping. Then you get the $60, which I've already added tax and shipping to that. So, it's a you're going to get over $100 more worth of stuff than what you're going to pay. You pay $99 plus tax only, free shipping. Okay, so any questions on that, just ask me. Um, of course, I already said this, but the big machine is available now. Even if you just want to buy it, it's $120, and of course you can buy it. Hey, Tammy, um, which I'll be showing it today, I think. I may have pre-done everything, but it's awesome, and I know I've shown it in other videos. And then... We can also purchase the magnetic platform now as well, which is $24, I believe. And I ordered mine, but it's coming today, so I don't have it here to show you. But the whole, it's, this is my um, interpretation. The whole thing is magnet, and then it's covered in, this is not it, obviously, in a self-healing mat. So you cut directly on it. So anywhere you place your dies, they will stick down with the magnet, and they won't, hit and then shift like they did with our old one because that had magnets spread out and so they would polarize with your dies and then that would cause them to shift when you set them down that should not happen with the new one so i'm excited to get mine today but anyone can purchase it now and it's 24 dollars i believe okay so contact me with any questions about our starter kit it's an amazing deal truly no obligation and um just benefits basically okay last but not least september's paper pumpkin is all about fall and it's all about this time all of the fall holidays not just halloween which is what we usually do in september so that's just like this little it's not really even a sneak peek but that's the flyer they gave us about it um that's our monthly craft kits in the mail hey pat oh have fun at your team meeting susan <laughs> And I will see you later. Um, so, Paper Pumpkin is $22 plus tax a month if you subscribe. Or you can buy... Janet, I don't know the answer to your question. I think probably 
but I don't know yet. I can test that once I get mine in, Janet, because from what I understand, Janet says, can the magnetic plate be used with the Big Shot? From what I understand, this bottom plate that you cut on is what instead the magnetic plate would go here. So that would be the same, like you use one of these on the Big Shot. So, but we, I would need to test it. Like someone else may know the answer already. I don't. So just in case, I would want to test that before I told you for sure. Um, but I bet you can. Um, okay, so Paper Pumpkin Monthly Craft Kit in the mail. Deadline to sign up is the 10th of each month to get that month's kit. So if you want the September kit, you want to sign up by September 10th. And you'll get this fall kit. And what it is, the stamp set is multi-occasion. And they can be Halloween what you can make with it can be Halloween, fall, Thanksgiving, pumpkins, and leaves. And it's, um, sorry, I got a text on my phone. I mean, on my watch. It makes 20 cracker box treat packages. Okay, so there we go. And then I'll just quickly, like, show you it's literally a box comes in the mail to you it's a surprise that's why i'm not saying what it is because i don't know yet um you get an ink pad you get a stamp set that's exclusive you can't buy it anywhere else you only get it if you got the kit and then you get all the supplies and stuff embellishments dimensionals glue dots to, and instructions to make whatever the projects are okay so now i'm gonna point the camera down <laughs> Thank you, Janet. And remind me if I forget to answer that, Janet. Um, UPS comes between now and 8 p.m. at my house. So I'll have the order sometime today. If the dogs bust out barking, maybe it, that means it's here <laughs> in a minute. Um, okay, so don't forget as y'all come on, say hi or and or share the video and say you shared it so that you can be entered to win the cards I'm gonna make today. So I'm gonna point the camera down to get started on that. And also like usual, if I missed saying hi to anybody, don't take it personal, that's me mainly, but also it could be Facebook that um, didn't quite show me everything. Um, as a reminder, I'm using the Press On stamp set today, which is in our holiday catalog. If you don't have the holiday catalog, let me know. Um, for my local customers, I have them actually basically constantly on my porch ready for pickup. And for long distance, let me know and I can get one in the mail to you. Um, but just real quick, there's the holiday catalog. It is what... 83 pages worth of amazing stuff and it's actually not called the holiday catalog that's just what i call it it's the august to december mini catalog so this isn't even a holiday stamp set but it's found in this book because stampin up also uses these books to introduce new things throughout the year since our catalog stays the same for one full year if that makes sense um, so that you'll find things in here that are not necessarily holiday at all, but thing, and you'll also find other holidays besides Christmas, um, fall, Halloween, Valentine's, and more. So it's an amazing catalog, of course. But press on, super cute stamp set. I'm trying not to go full Christmas yet because it is just September, although planning ahead is strongly encouraged for your Christmas crafts and cards um so anyway but this is what we're using today here is my monthly host code to get that free class packet using poinsettia petals and then i'm going to put my class supplies here so just as a reminder this is kind of an example of what you would get in that kit from stampin up and there'll be this is not the cards obviously but there'll be two kits eight cards in each kit, so 16 total, free with your starter kit purchase. Um, but for my card today, this kit is a half sheet of Whisper White cardstock. So you take your eight and a half by 11 cardstock and cut it in half. So that's five and a half inches. 
or you can also cut it in half the other direction at four and a fourth. And once you fold either one of those in half, they fit into the invitation size envelope, which is a standard size that um, we carry, of course. We call them medium envelopes, but you can find them anywhere. So measuring is super easy to make your own cards. And then I'm just gonna fold that in card base in half with my bone folder. So I always like to make the fold only with the bone folder versus my finger because it will be a more uh, crisp fold on the inside and less wrinkly. I did get that a little tiny bit crooked. Okay, then I set that aside and then these are the pieces for the front of my card. So this is petal pink. Let me just bring that in for a minute. It's a fourth inch smaller on both sides than this piece. So it's four by five and a fourth. And then this whisper white, another fourth inch down, three and three fourths by five and then two scraps of Whisper White. So these are the ones I'm gonna stamp on. I use, for this card, this rectangle stitched dies, which are awesome. You get, uh, I have it written there, 13 different dies that are all rectangle shape and they all put the stitch marks on when you cut them. So here's one I've pre-cut. You can see the little stitching hopefully. <laughs> and that was this die. And then this is the other one I'm going to use on this card. So I have my two scraps here. And in general, you can either die cut first and then stamp on it or stamp first and then die cut it out. So I actually found, this is for my greeting, I found it easier to die cut first and then stamp. Then on this one, I found it easier to, or better to align it, to stamp first. So let me grab my stamps. I have these cute little cups, a cup of thanks, and then this little starburst kind of stamp here. So on this piece, I'm going to stamp the coffee cups in Memento Black ink. And I'm using Memento because I'm going to color them in with Stampin' Blends. And it's just a very quick coloring, nothing fancy. Um, so I have my dark petal pink to match the petal pink paper here. Everything with Stampin' Up! matches and coordinates. Um, but Memento is a water-based ink. And these markers, Stampin' Blends, are alcohol markers. So water and alcohol will not mix, which is what you want. You don't want to stamp with an alcohol-based ink and color with an alcohol marker because they'll mix. That's my memento pad. And then for my coloring, it really is super quick. I probably should grab my readers um, so I color in the lines. <laughs> oh, maybe. Um, oh my goodness, wrong end. Did y'all see what I did there? Um, so, I just did some super quick coloring, so no, no special blending, which you can do with these markers, but I'm just using the fine tip and adding some petal pink to make this coordinate with that cardstock that's going to be under. So, I colored those polka dots and then the heart and then the, actually, I should be coloring this on a different one here. Um the wrap on that cup and then I would die cut it out and, and you can die cut before you color as well but just to save you guys time today I already die cut it out so let me quickly recolor this one um, so again this is just some super quick coloring yes you could do the stripes on here you could do the stripes here you could add more colors than what I'm doing for sure but I kind of I don't know if monochromatic is really the right word for this card, but I kind of made it a monochromatic card just using very few colors. And also, I am I do that. Like, I don't... Co I color less when possible. <laughs> okay, I'm going to use Petal Pink ink to stamp my greeting. And it's the A Cup of Thanks. And it... It's not right or wrong. You can stamp first and then die cut or vice versa. So 
there's a little a couple of things with the matching petal pink and then I'm going to oh, it's right here I'm going to use this piece to measure where to stamp this starburst image well actually I'm going to use it in a second so we're going to ink that up remember to stamp or tap gently on Stampin' Up's ink pads don't press crazy hard if you do, you're gonna make indentions in here, you're gonna push the ink off your stamp pads and it's not gonna stamp as well um, because we have foam ink pads. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to center this with my face really far away from the paper because of the video. <laughs> and then I basically want another one here. So I'm using that piece as a guide. I also like to use my grid paper. If I have my paper aligned with the grid paper somehow it helps me align when I'm stamping a little bit um, but I'm just gonna eyeball where this is gonna go you could also use stamparatus and then move that away and then stamp so this is actually aligned much better than the one I previously made for you know preparing for the video so there we go um, but I just eyeballed it. Again, you could use Stamparatus, which is a positioning tool. Hey, Teresa, that's okay. Hot tamale. Um, I'll see you at bingo tonight as well. Hey, Kathy, good morning. Hey, Tommy, no problem. Hey, Holly. Hey, Marilyn. Thanks for sharing, Mary. Ooh, Janet says she's 70% done with her Christmas card. She's expecting grandchild in a few weeks. She wants to get it done first. Very smart. Um, so anyway, that's it. Uh, as far as the stamping. I was going to, like it was kind of in my mind to say for some, there might be like an image with McDonald's with like a sunburst thing because that makes me think of McDonald's for some reason. Anyway. Okay. And I'm also going to use on this card the Forever Greenery Trim Combo Pack. And I've used this ribbon before, but you get the two ribbons here. This is like a, an open weave kind of vanilla ribbon. And then there is a gold twine. So I'm using the gold twine on this one, but I'm using both of these in one way or another on the cards today. Okay, so I think I'm ready to assemble. This card's pretty simple. I'm going to use my stamp and seal, hold it straight up and down. To apply remember you don't need as much with stamp and seal as we did with our old adhesive and center that and then no ribbons going like around the back of this or anything so I can go ahead and attach this down um, nothing's coming off when I do this which just means that some of the adhesive came off of the roll and is not touching right here. See how it's not sticky? So I wanna show you a trick I learned is put it back on the adhesive, which is sticky enough to get it started again. So just roll it a tiny bit until it's advanced it forward enough to be rolling out sticky again. Hopefully that makes sense. And place that one on there. And then I'm gonna grab Stampin' Dimensionals, of course Stampin' Ups version of pop dots. I've cut several in half. So I'm going to use a couple of half pieces. So you can use the full ones as well. I'm going to use a couple of the halves to put the little cups on here. And then same for my greeting. And that's it is nice, the half ones for this, because they can go on there the long way. <clears throat> and then I'm going to put the greeting in the very center down here at the bottom. Or I say the very center, but <clears throat> I'm human, so it might be off center a little bit. <laughs> you know what I mean. And then I'm just going to tie, a. am actually going to tie a double bow with this twine. So that means I'm going to, bring over I'm going to guess how much to bring over and fold it in half on top of itself and then I'll tie a bow just a, with twine I just tie a regular bow like not bunny ear <clears throat> just a regular old bow like if I was tying my shoes 
and then uh, make the loops smaller by pulling on the tails and then I'll trim off these, all the tails here. So I just pull, <laughs> pull them all down and grab my scissors. Um, I need to get the correct ones. I, what was I gonna, oh. So I'm gonna cut it here, but I'm gonna do it off camera because all the stuff that's gonna fall down. And then this, twine kind of naturally unwinds itself but you can unwind it even more and you'll have a cute little double bow to go on your card and I'll just use a mini glue dot for that don't touch the dot peel the protective coating back till you see only one dot place your embellishment on that and then pull it off. I use my fingernail. Some people use like the take your pick tool or tweezers or something. Um, I luckily have fingernails which are way too long right now by the way. They look terrible but anyway there is the first card. Let me bring it up closer. So I like it. I hope you guys do too. It's pretty simple. I was gonna say very simple but there is die cutting and stuff but I mean the design is simple. You know it's not an elaborate card. Um, but a cute little thank you card for a friend. Of course, with these coffee-themed stamps, you can slip a little Starbucks or whatever coffee shop you like gift card in there when you're giving a thank you card with that says stuff about coffee. So there's an option there. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, thank you, thank you for the little... Um, thumbs up. Our next card. Um, yeah. So this next card, I kind of took Starbucks colors in uh, as inspiration. So my card base is very vanilla. It is. <laughs> Thank you guys. Uh, five and a half by eight and a half. Then we have Garden Green, which I think is a really good Starbucks color. Four by five and a fourth. This is the In Good Taste designer paper. Three and three fourths by five. And then I have a piece of very vanilla, uh, crumb cake, <laughs> cardstock, crumb cake, which I've die cut uh, with the stitched shapes dies, which I'll bring out over in just a second. A scrap of crumb cake cardstock, a scrap of very vanilla, actually two scraps of very vanilla, and then I have a piece of garden green that for my greeting. So it's a specific size, which is one inch by two inches, one by two. Okay, so let's do our card base real quick, get that out of the way. I always like to wait to attach stuff to my card base until I know no more stamping needs to be done or at least on the pieces I'm attaching to the card base in case I mess up. Um, okay, so let me see. The stamps I'm going to be using are All You Need Is Confidence and Lots of Coffee. The one that says coffee, so cute, looks like a little coffee shop sign. The heart and the to-go cup. There is a, I didn't end up using the actual coffee cup in any of these cards. I intended to and then I didn't, but there is that, but I like the to-go one. There are not dies for this, so anything would be hand cut out. Just heads up. <laughs> and then the colors I'm gonna use are garden green and memento black again. Okay, so I'm actually not stamping on those. For these, what these scraps are for, in Memento Black, I'm going to stamp the coffee cup, the to-go cup. Oh, there is, is there something else? No. And then I'm also gonna stamp on this scrap here. I just need the middle part for the cup wrap. And then 
I did a separate piece of vanilla just in case I went crazy on this one um, for the heart. So it's just a scrap. You could stamp it on here as well. Garden green. Again, don't tap too hard, but you can always tap lots of times in different spots on your ink pads to get lots of good inking. But this is a very solid stamp, so lots of tapping and then hold it for several seconds to get a good image there. Uh, and then my greeting is, well, actually I have two, but I'm using this one kind of as the greeting on the card. All you need is confidence and lots and lots of coffee right in the center there. And you can press harder on Memento Black, by the way, because it's a, not a foam ink pad. It's a firm, uh, oh, what's that material? Like a, not felt, I forget what they're called. But anyway, it's firm, you can press hard. And then just right down at the bottom of this circle, which I said I would talk about. So I pre-die cut that from the stitch shape. It's not, or is it the largest? Yes, it's the largest circle from the stitched shapes dies which are a must own. It has ovals, squares, and circles, four different sizes, I believe, for each one. Well, yeah, so 12 dies total. And of course, it puts that those stitch marks on there when you die cut with it. Love it. <laughs> Felt is, oh, it hasn't been scrolling for me on my iPad. I was like, what? Let's see. Jane, felt is correct. Thank you. Thank you, Diana. Yeah, I didn't see all these comments. Thank you, Tommy. <laughs> Janet, petal pink is growing on me. You call it petal peach. Yes. Thank you, Mary Ann. Good to see you. Thanks, Eleanor and Carol. Sorry, I missed all y'all's comments because my iPad got stuck. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, petal pink, I did not like it when it first came out for the same reason. Um, but it's grown on me, like you said, Janet, and for me, it does look really pretty with, like, the, like, um, which I think I'm using it, yeah, I'm using it on the next card. It looks really good with a crumb cake and things like that, but the other thing is for me with Stampin' Up!, of course, it matches all of our designer papers and stuff, so that makes it work for me, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, I'm going to be using that gold twine again on this card, and I'm looking for my scissors. Okay. So, I am going to need to hand cut out the heart, the cup, and this piece. So, I will show you how I cut on this one. I cut basically, it's a nice thick line, so I cut in the middle of it. So, Half of the black ink is here and half is there. And I did the same thing on this one. So I basically cut on, like I did not want a border like we do sometimes. So I cut on the line so that basically a little bit of the black ink is here and the rest of it is here. And so that's how I cut out the cup. For the heart, I did it differently, and these are pretty easy because they're a lot of big straight cuts. Um, but for the heart, I wanted the border, the vanilla border. And then here's a cup I pre-cut out. So that's how you can just quickly make a, a, a wrap. And then for the heart, I just, I did cut it because it's not a symmetrical heart. Um, not that that matters, but I just cut it very slowly so that I could really make it look nice. Turning with my left hand, because I'm right-handed, while I cut, instead of trying to move my right hand, you'll get a smoother cut that way. But I just really took my time so that I wouldn't get sort of an ugly cut there. Okay. Okay. So now we have all of our pieces for this card. We can put it together. I'm going to attach the wrap, the coffee, 
cup to go wrap flat. And so cutting a little below the black line, it just all goes together perfectly when you glue it back together, piece it back together. And then I'm gonna use Stampin' Dimensionals on the heart and the back of the cup. So I have my mini dimensionals here. I'll just grab one of those for this heart, perfect size, and then grab these full size ones that I've cut in half for the cup. I have a lot of birds tweeting outside today. It sounds like, it always makes me think of the zoo when Isabel was little and we would go to the zoo. Anytime I hear birds anywhere, I'm like, oh, the, I miss the zoo. <laughs> anyway, and but yeah, I guess with all the rain, we had a lot of rain here yesterday and I think last night, which is good. Not like bad rain, just rain. Okay, so we have that. On this piece here, I'm going to add some of the gold twine behind it. So I'm gonna do the two times two, three times three method. So two fingers, wrap it around two times, one, two, then add your third finger and go one, two, three. And then hold it with your thumb and cut. And I always forget to do this when I'm doing this live. Put adhesive on your cardstock first where you're gonna place this ribbon, which for me is the right side. Um, so the adhesive is already on there. Then you have this all wrapped around your fingers. Don't let it go. Oh, I did love powder pink too, Pat. Take all your fingers out, but don't let go with the thumb and forefinger. And then you can kind of mess them up. These are, of course, staying way more perfect than my other one did. And then smoosh it into that adhesive. And you can still um, sort of move it around, mess it up, sort of. But the two different two and then three, and depending on what you're doing, you might use different fingers. <laughs> um, that gives you different size loops. And actually, Mary Ann, who's on here watching today, is the one who told me about using different quantity numbers of fingers, basically. Okay, then I'll add Stampin' Dimensionals. I almost always do this for one, because it looks good, but two, it helps you secure down the ribbon or twine or whatever it was that you attached to the ribbon. Okay, then I just need to put this together. So I'm going to put or attach these all together. My In Good Taste designer paper, which by the way, In Good Taste goes so well with this press on stamp set. Like it, they were made to go together with all the wood grains and stuff. It's very coffee shop. Then this is very vanilla base. Oh, now I did do this one flat. So that's going to go top center, and this is bottom center, and that is done. So another pretty simple card, really. And there we go. Let me bring it up a little closer can see, hopefully, see some details up close. I like it. <laughs> and as y'all come on, if you're new or just jumped on or whatever, make sure you say hi or comment <laughs> so that you can uh, be entered to win the three cards I'm making today. Pat says she forgot about the loops or how to do the loops. Yeah. Yes, and the new adhesive is super sticky, so you saw how well that stuck. And see how these turned out different? I did the exact same thing. And this one, I actually pre-put the adhesive on there first, which I forgot to on that one. So, it always turns out different every time you do it. Thank you, Jean. Thanks, Pat and Eleanor. Hey, and good morning, Jean, by the way. I cut out the wrap from Starbucks, so it has some texture. Um, Catherine, uh, sorry, I'm trying to process. Do you mean you physically, like, maybe stamped on a Starbucks wrap and cut that out? Or you just made your own out of a Starbucks wrap? Um, but that's a good idea. Also, this could be embossed. That would be perfect with the folder I'm using on the next card. Emboss that 
what I hand cut out, then emboss it with this folder, which is, I have the name written over here, Tasteful Textile. That would be the perfect little texture to put on that. Darn it. Why didn't you tell me that yesterday? <laughs> Good morning, Catherine, by the way. Okay. Let's see. So, thank y'all, thank y'all. Now, last but not least, this card, we're going to use a few additional products besides um, the stamp set. So, we're going to use the Love You More Than dies, which has, uh, well, actually, you're going to see it when I die cut it. This says Love You More Than coffee, chocolate, cookies, cocktails, and then, of course, there's a stamp set that goes with it. And then these are the Celebration Labels dies from the holiday catalog. And they are the ones that I'll be using with my Retreat in a Box projects. It's going to be awesome. Um, so I'm using both of those. The Tasteful Textile Embossing Folder, which just gives that perfect amount of a little bit of texture. Crumb Cake Stampin' Blends and two different designer papers, which I'll tell you about when I pull those over. Also, we're gonna use the adhesive sheets from Stampin' Up. So, I'll show you how to do that as well. So the card base this time is Crumb Cake, five and a half, eight and a half. Then I have Early Espresso, four by five and a fourth, which I embossed with the Tasteful textile embossing folder so it's a very like it definitely is there you can see it but it's a subtle texture I think that would be perfect for those Starbucks cup wraps then this is the gilded autumn designer paper which I die cut from those um, celebration labels dies the largest one no, it's the next to the largest. The largest one is too big for a card. Isn't that awesome? I love that. Um, so, it's the next to the largest is this size, which fits your card front. And then, have a scrap of early espresso and a piece of the adhesive sheet. I'll give you measurements on that. A scrap of white, and then this is from Prized Peony. And, uh, I'm sorry, is that Peony Garden designer paper? Sorry. So, this is what one side looks like. And the other side is a petal pink piece. So, again, um, the way petal pink works for me is because I'm combining it with other Stampin' Up! Uh, products that are petal pink in color already. So, let me first get rid of this card base. And then we're not stamping on these two, so I can set all that aside. Um, I should, yeah. So then what I'm going to do is for my stamping, on my scrap, I need to grab my Simply Chamois because I want to clean my heart image. We stamped it in green, garden green. And now we're going to stamp it in petal pink. So the chamois, you just wet it in the sink, squeeze it out, clean away. It'll get all stained up like this, and then just uh, rinse it out in the sink when it has too much ink in it. And you can just use it over and over forever. Just don't, do let it dry out in between. Don't store it like in a baggie or something where it could get uh, moldy. Okay, and then I'm going to use the to-go cup again. So, I'm looking, here it is. I was like, where is my black ink pad? So I need a petal pink heart. Tap, tap, tap. Gently, but all over. And I want that on Whisper White. And then the cup. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I slammed my finger into something. It kind of hurt. Um, the cup, again, Memento Black. And I am going to use the blends again. And then this time the wrap will be the pink from the designer paper. So this also can give the illusion of some texture because there's texture image on this designer paper. Okay, 
so and then we're going to do something with that um so this will get colored first and i did blend this time so you already heard about memento and blends i'm going to use the fine point of the dark and so the blending part is where you can make your stuff look really cool and artistic and professional but even if you don't have any art skills like me so i'm just adding a dark shadow where i want a dark shadow and then with the fine point i'm going to do the light you could use the not fine point however my um my other tip is drying out it's been used so much so i have another set on order coming and they both give the same effect this one can just take a little longer if it's a larger section but when you add the light you go over the dark as well and that's what blends them together and you can keep going over it as much as you need to until you get the blending down i just went outside of the lines um, we have a thing called the color lifter which you can use to quickly correct a mistake like that but luckily this one's getting cut out so it doesn't matter and so hopefully I don't know how well you could see that but I just kept coloring because it wasn't very blended but you just keep coloring the paper because this is alcohol based the paper will not break down it just bleeds through to the other side um, and but you get these cool shadows and so here's one I already colored and cut out so you can see the cool shadowing there i guess i should look at how i'm holding this to the camera <laughs> um and hand cut that out and then hand cut out the pink heart which you've already seen me do so no need to re-watch that and then hand cut this one out which i did not pre-do one so i need to do that Again, I'm just going to basically go down the middle of the black stamped line and then it will attach perfectly on that other piece. It's basically we're piecing these back together, paper piecing. Forgot to throw my readers back on and I am going outside of the lines because I didn't do that. I'll just snip this off so I can work with it more easily. And sometimes I need to slow down and take my time when I do stuff. That's That can be an issue. Yeah, I do have a little bit of a pink edge showing there because I didn't take my time. So that's better. All black ink there. And then just put that together. Which also helps cover up any mistakes or if I went outside the lines or whatever. And then another mini Stampin' Dimensional. Love these. And the little white border helps that pink on pink show up there. So there's that. Then what we're going to have, I'm also going to use the, the ribbon from that forever, what is it called? forever greenery trim combo pack but this is the sticker sheet so what i did i i took the dies i wanted to use love you more than and coffee and i just figured out what size paper to cut and i cut it to two and three fourths by three and a half and then i cut the sticker sheet the adhesive sheet is what we call them to just a little, like a tiny bit smaller than that, like a sixteenth or so of an inch. I put it at two and three fourths or whatever it was <clears throat> and came back a little bit. And then this does have, usually throughout the sticker sheet, there are slits, so you can uh, do a portion at a time. And basically, I just peeled it off and checked, and this was the sticky side. So place that down. If it was vice versa, I would place that one down. And then, same with this one. And so, I'm sure you've probably seen stuff like this before with other products, but it makes the whole 
piece of cardstock sticky. That, that sticky is going to now transfer to here. Then I'm going to grab my stamp and cut and emboss machine and pop down the sides. And then just a quick reminder, the machine comes. <laughs> hey, Chris. Oh, that's your favorite paper pad. Awesome. Um, okay, so it comes with all of this. Uh, platform one, which you use for pretty much everything. Platform two is for die cutting. We are die cutting. Then number three, there are two number threes, which are your clear cutting plates. So they're used for different things, um, but right now you need a number three on bottom. Or this could be your magnetic instead if you had that. Then you place your dies and cardstock dies, cardstock down first, then die with the blade facing down, then a clear, clean cutting plate on top. So I have two number threes, but one is I use to cut on, and one is for the top only, as you see how I labeled it. <laughs> um, because you don't want all this junk transferring down into your cardstock from the top. Okay, and then just make sure your dies are on the paper, you know, not hanging off the edge or whatever, and they're not overlapping each other. And again, if I have my magnetic plate, they would just stay in place. That would be awesome. And then clear plate on top. Always make sure all of your plates or whatever you have on here are stacked up even with each other, and then just roll it through. Now, I did find... I, I rolled it through once the first time and they did everything did come out and then I cut another one and I did it two times on that one. So I'm just going to go backwards for number two. Um, and it was just a little bit easier to get all the paper out and that is because, um, you know, we're putting extra thickness here on our machine, uh, on our paper, I should say. So just like if you're cutting glimmer paper or something else super thick, you want to add a little extra thickness. Or uh, thickness, I'm sorry. You want to run it through twice sometimes. And then you can grab the, this thing, die brush. And that helps everything fall out. But again, this has sticky all over it. So then basically I'm just going to take uh, poke all these out and take a toothpick and poke all the little pieces out, which I pre-did on another one just to save y'all time. But they do come out, just so you can see, very easily. There's a sticker on the back. You peel it off and stick it down. Um, what was I going to say about this? Uh, I lost it. But yeah, I use a toothpick to poke out all the little holes, you know, the in the E and all that stuff. I had a thought. But I lost it. Just make sure there's no paper left in your dies before you put them away because that'll mess you up next time. Okay. It drives me crazy when I... I know I had something to say. But what was it? <laughs> so here's all my pieces that I've done already. Poked everything out, hopefully. Of course, I always do that. Oh, no. I was going to say I always miss one when I think I've pre-gotten all the holes out. Okay, so no ribbons going around the back, so now I'm ready to assemble. And this is a very tight fit at the top and bottom. So just make sure you're looking at that when you're putting it together. And by the way, this gilded autumn paper looks exactly like crumb cake, the color. Like they did a perfect match there, so that's great. My little cup's going to kind of go here. Oh, I know what I was going to comment on. that. Just the fact that I love, this looks like one die, love you more than, but each word is cut out individually. So you can separate the words and use them for other things. Not necessarily with that saying. I knew I was going to say something. <laughs> okay, so then I just, um, and of course you can cut out other words besides coffee. I just kind of laid out how I wanted the card to look. And then I did go ahead and make my bow because if your bow is too big, it can hide some of these words over here. And I'm just going to do a bunny ear bow. So two bunny ears, not too close together. 
So you have plenty of space to, to cross over and then push that same rabbit ear down into the bunny hole. And I'm being like really stingy with my ribbon and making a small one, so that was a little more difficult to work with, but not work, anyway, I know what I mean, because I was being cheap with my ribbon. Okay, and then trim. But I kind of need short tails on this one because of the, I don't want it to cover up the words, basically. So, I'm gonna make it look like the other one here. Okay, so just start doing your sticker. Now you don't forget that there was a slit, or it was in two pieces basically. So you may come across that when you're peeling off the backing, it may come off in two different pieces if you when you get to that part. Like part of that, the back of my, the word you came off when I removed it because of that. That's obviously where I had that separate piece of um, adhesive. Hopefully I'm making sense. <laughs> it makes sense in my head. And I don't, I think I did on love, but I intended not to press too hard until I get these positioned actually where I want them so that I can reposition them if needed. I'm using my fingernails to peel these off. Um, I could see if you didn't have fingernails, you would probably want to figure out something else like a, see there's that split, the take your pick tool or something, which has a little spatula on it, to get, to easily release it. Although, I mean, it's not difficult, but anyway. And last but not least, coffee. Okay. So then I think they actually are positioned pretty well. So let me stick them down. Of course, it's a nice sticky adhesive and the whole thing has sticky on it. So, you know, it's, they're skinny little words. They're gonna stick fine. And then glue dot my bow and we will be done. Ooh, Marlene says she just won this stamp set. That's awesome. All right, well, did you win press on? I assume press on, but she might also mean the love you more than. There you go, last card. This one's a little bit different. The bow's a little different. Like it's actually a better bow there. I was in a rush. Um, and always when I pick, or after the video, I separate the cards into the prize ones and the ones I keep. And so the best one is for the prize. <laughs> so that's what you can win, this card along with the other two. So let me bring in all three from today. They're actually all portrait today. Um, so those are the cards we made today. Thank you, thank you. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm reading your comments. I hope y'all like them. I really had fun. <laughs> Thanks Marlene. Um, I really had fun working with this stamp set. Thank you, Catherine. Uh, Sharon says she's using the tasteful, tasteful textile embossing folder, so that's awesome. Cool. Well, I'm, I hope y'all like them, but um, you're saying you do, so thank you very much. I appreciate y'all watching today. As usual, if you have any questions on any of my anything, <laughs> whether it's, uh, thank you, Oma, hello, um, the cards, but also any of the classes I told you about or anything like that, just let me know. Um, I hope y'all have a great day and a great week, and I should be back next Thursday like usual. Thank you, thank you very much. All right, well, y'all have a good one, and I will see you, yay, Melanie, next on your list, I love it. <laughs> oh, a set Landon doesn't have. Yes. Um, cool. Well, y'all have a good one. Bye.